Good day. This is Nancy Gornan with Remax Alliance, and I'm bringing you the new listings in Loveland this past week. There's 28. So we're seeing some consistency with it this time of year. We're not going to look at all the houses. I'm going to try changing things up a little bit. wanted to point out to you that over here I have links to property management companies. I also added a new link. It's called How to Save a Life, the Heimlich Maneuver. And there's a new CPR on there. So I've done some checking and I've talked to people in the healthcare world and CPR has changed. So please take an opportunity to learn about the new CPR. It might save a life and especially the Heimlich Maneuver because it is something so quick and so easy and you can make a difference in many people's lives by saving just one. The, uh, my number at REMAX Alliance is 970-622-1846. You came in maybe through lovingandloveland.com. One of the things that we can do is set up a site for you, and I'm going to move this up, is we can, here's, um, is go into something, and I can, on your site that we set up, you can go in and view details, you can see things like a map, you can see um, walk scores, you can see so much more. So let's see if I can do this right. I'm afraid to, did it pop another window? It didn't. So. In my case, I'm not going to close it. Oh, I just go back to maps. That's how I do it. All right, so what I want to show you today is not that one. What The house we're going to take a look at, and we're going to take a look at only one. You can let me know which houses you want to see. I'm finding that we're so overwhelmed in this world that I don't want to send you a whole bunch of houses you're not interested in. So let's focus exactly on what you're looking for. Here's one on Valley Oak, one on Marnock on the east side of town. We saw the one on Lila. Now I want to see, where is it? Oh my gosh, it's in Namaqua Hills and I don't find it on the map. Let's go find out what's going on. Maybe it's just mapped in the wrong place and I'm not seeing it where I think it should be. Um, interesting, interesting situation. Oh, oh, here it is, Ponderosa. It's closer in than it looks is the key. So the one we want to look at now is the one on Ponderosa and you can, no, that's, I'm hitting the wrong button. Let's go ahead and do it this way. We'll go out to the end, and we'll go look at the details. This one is on the top of Namaqua Hills, and the thing that I really like about it, it's completely remodeled in 2008. It was a five-bedroom, four on the main floor, one upstairs. There's five baths. It's uh, originally built in 1968, so in 2008 it was remodeled, which is a good thing. So let's go take a look and... Um, you can see that you have a little walkway to a deck, several decks it looks like. I'm not sure if that's what's going down there. And yes, an artist does own this house. And um, I think you probably, I know you know this artist because she's amazing. Anyway, look at what they've done to this house. The woodwork, the beams, the I'm assuming that's been converted to gas log, but we need to go in and check. Nice open great room style so you can just have that extra space. Um, it just says fireplace, so I'm not sure yet if it's wood or gas. We'll have to go in and look. Look at the tile work. They've got a piano in that space. The kitchen area, and that is a granite island. Look at this wonderful window view. Look at this gas, this range here. That's probably one of those, that's one of those fancy freezers, and I don't want to say zero phosphory or something, but... Look at those views and the tile work. I wish I could even blow this up more. So you have your water faucet here, so you can have spaghetti pot on the thing. Look at this over here. Look at this oven. This is a house board. Um, just having a great time. And when you're doing dishes, you can be looking out or cutting things. The master bedroom. Yep, it is. Okay, so you have, this is probably the bath area. We'll have to kind of confirm it. It's got a fireplace in here, and this is what must be the one bedroom upstairs. So in this particular house, the master retreat is upstairs, so you get even better view. Look at the view of those Long's Peak. Oh my goodness. That's why I had to show you this house. So you have a soaking tub, you have a chair in there if you want to use a chair to sit. Um, nice deck. It looks like it might be partially covered, and this is off the master bedroom. Here's another ba bedroom. Then we have its own bath, it looks like, for that bedroom. Then we have a Jack and Jill bed. First Jack and Jill bedroom, which means that what they're saying is there's a Jack and Jill bath, and so these two bedrooms are connected through the bathroom. 
So it's nice to have that kind of space in there. And then you have a workout room. And look at the windows here. That's a walkout. That's got to be in the basement. And then you have a place where you could set one of those fireplaces out, the gas fireplaces, and just kind of chat and in there have a glass of wine or Cokes or whatever and enjoy the views in the evening. And isn't this fun? Look at the roof tiles. I mean, there has been so much done on that. Can you imagine what this looks at night? Maybe they have a picture for us. And we'll have to see. And maybe not. So anyway, this is my pick of the day. Look at the Colorado mountains. This is just gorgeous. This house is listed at just under $800,000. It was remodeled in 2006. It's a great retreat getaway. If you have an interest in this house or you want to set up your own home finder search to be able to find the properties only that you're interested in, please let us know. I'll be, um, you can call, you can email us, and we'll look forward to working with you. Thank you. And you can be four or five years out. That's okay.